The stench of manure, burning tires and tear gas pervaded downtown Brussels as protesting farmers descended on the city's European quarter, escalating their action against hardship they blame on the EU's green policies, price pressures and import competition. In chaotic scenes, law enforcement put up barbed wire outside EU institutions and met the rowdy crowd with water cannons. Protesters set fire to tires, dumped manure on the street and sprayed police with hay. Farmers jammed part of Brussels, Belgium, with tractors and set fire to piles of tires in the latest of many protests by farmers across Europe against competition from cheap food imports, excessive environmental rules, and subsidies favoring large firms. Brussels police fired a water cannon after furious farmers started a bonfire outside the European Parliament while protesting. Agriculture ministers were set to debate a new set of EU proposals to ease the pressure on farmers, including a reduction in farm inspections and the possibility of exempting small farms from some environmental standards. The Ukrainian army shot down the 25th Russian Su-34 fighter bomber. Several media reports have indicated that a Russian Su-34 fighter jet has crashed in the Henishesk district of Kherson Oblast. Radio Liberty said eyewitnesses are posting videos from the plane crash scene. Unconfirmed reports suggest it was downed. Crimean Wind reports that a Russian Su-34 fighter jet disappeared from radar screens after launching missiles at Ukrainian cities. This allegedly occurred at an altitude of 2,000 meters above the Henishesk district. At least four fire engines and ambulances were sent to the plane crash scene, Crimean Wind added later. While these reports remain unverified, there are suggestions that the aircraft might have been targeted and brought down by the Ukrainian Air Forces. According to data from the General Staff of Ukraine's forces, if confirmed, this would be the 340th aircraft shot down in the last two years. This incident follows the recent success of Ukrainian Defense Forces in downing a Russian A-50 aircraft on February the 23rd. Last spectacular knockdowns, Su-34 bombers, Su-35 fighters and AWACS a-50 aircraft. It is only part of the Russian Air Force. Of course, the losses are heavy and may cause logistical problems, but the Kremlin will sooner or later deal with them in its own way. The Russian Air Force mostly uses Tu-95, Su-22, Su-24 and Su-34 bombers and Su-27, Su-35 and MiG-29 fighters to attack Ukraine. Interestingly, the Kremlin should use the latest aircraft in shape, S-70 unmanned bomber drone and Su-57 fifth generation fighter jet. As for the Su-34s, the Ukrainians have scrapped 25 machines, including 16 in the last two months. The Su-34 is a modern multi-role tactical fighter. The machine is capable of carrying tactical nuclear weapons and can carry out attack, reconnaissance and direct air support missions. The cost of manufacturing the Su-34 is estimated at approximately $36 million. India urges Russia to release its citizens serving in support jobs in army. India has requested the early release of some of its citizens working with the Russian army in support jobs, according to the Ministry of External Affairs of India. 
The statement from the Indian Ministry of External Affairs came after a local newspaper reported that last year about 100 Indians were employed under contracts for a term of no less than a year. Citizens from many countries sought employment in the Russian army, including from the neighboring Nepal. We are aware that a few Indian nationals have signed up for support jobs with the Russian army, the statement said. Diplomats also indicated that the Indian embassy regularly discussed this issue with the relevant Russian authorities for their early release. We urge all Indian nationals to exercise due caution and stay away from this conflict, diplomats added. As previously reported, Russian forces are experiencing a shortage of military personnel to fill combat losses, so they are trying to recruit foreign volunteers for service. In particular, the Russian state has been recruiting citizens of Cuba for the war in Ukraine. The latter were promised high salaries, bonuses and vacations. Also in early January, Nepal stopped issuing permits to its citizens to work in Russia and Ukraine. At least 10 Nepalese soldiers were killed while serving in the Russian army.